off with the week with. Can't, can't jump into training without some positivity. Got a closing at noon. Closings are good. We like closings. Got a listing appointment at 530. Listing appointments are good. Those lead to closings. Look at <laughs> that. And in this market, yep. listings are gold. They are. Kelsey, what you got? Uh -huh. I, call, you're learning. I call people out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got something good for me. Pam Moyers, Jackie spoke up. So why don't you support her? What do you got going on? I have a new listing coming up in Dunn Loring. It's going to be coming up probably the 15th of May. It's being painted inside. It's it's got probably over $150,000 worth of upgrades in the bathroom. It's just under 2,000 square feet. It's going to be 850. It's in really, really good condition. If you have a buyer, uh, it should go very, very fast. Awesome. Congratulations. Anything, anybody else have anything fun to share? It doesn't have to be a listing. It doesn't have to be a sale. It doesn't have to be a closing. You know, I was out in the sun. I've been cooking barbecue like crazy for the last couple of weeks, breaking in my new Blackstone flat top grill. Uh, you know, so what has got you moving? What's got you feeling good? Well, I will share that I've been reading this book, Never Split the Difference. Okay. And I would say that it's teaching me completely different how to think about uh, how to negotiate. And um, right. it's... It's written by Chris Voss, who was the, uh, he was the head negotiator for the FBI. And he, he is, um, I'm in a book club and we're reading it. And I tell you, it's really changed how I do real estate. So I would say, get the book. How to split the difference. All right. Never I think split the difference. I just put the name of that book in chat for everybody. All right, so thank you all for joining me on this lovely Monday. And yes, I'm a little amped up. I am on my third cup of coffee and that's just how I roll, okay? So we're here, day one, tech orientation, okay? You guys have all heard, for those of you that aren't completely new to the company, right? You've been hearing about talking about command for some while and that's okay and I'm glad that you guys are here. And I see some friendly faces and I see some new people. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is David Donaldson. I am the regional technology director for the Virginia, West Virginia region. I've been a licensed realtor for 14 years. I can't believe it's been that long. Uh, I got my license in 2000. I know I don't look it, right? I look for it just out of college, right? High school, maybe, you know? Um, no, Jackie says no. Okay, thanks, Jackie. I appreciate you. Um, I've been licensed since 2007, and it's been quite a ride, to say the least. I've been with KW since 2009, relocated here to Northern Virginia in 2012 from Arizona. That was quite an education, having been on the ground when the bottom fell out, literally. Got my license in March of 07 when, when all that fun stuff started to happen. So that was, that was an education. I, I do not lie. Okay. Coming here in 2012 um, and then starting new with zero people, maybe it was like three people I had in my data bank at the time, and bounced around a little bit to kind of find who I was going to be and then found a home in the Falls Church Market Center. I see my Falls Church people online where I started becoming an instructor and a trainer and a new career for me inside of real estate. So while you'll learn from me and I will talk to you a lot about the things that are at your disposal from a command standpoint, I want you to know that when you hear from myself or from the fellow Market Center Tech Trainers, most of us have a background in real estate. So when we're talking to you about how to use a platform, it's not just about filling the ranks. You don't need to be a coder, okay? You don't need to be a programmer. Right. If I can get Jackie to use things, you know, anybody can do it. Okay. Right. She knows she's been with me for five years now. There's nothing hard about what we're going to teach you how to do. The hard part is time blocking. The hard parting is holding yourself accountable. The hard part is being systematized. Right, Ted? Those are the hard things. Filling the blanks are easy. Being busy, being busy is easy. Lead generation is hard. Command, not hard. Okay. So just... For all of you that go, I'm scared. Who's scared of tech? Raise your hand because I know you're all out there. Who's scared of tech? Right? I get this all the time. People say this to me all the time. Oh, I'm scared of tech. I'm going to be the worst person in your class ever. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that. Okay. You're not. It's just a system. You all know how to use one of these, right? Everybody have one of these? You can use this. You can use command. I assure you. And you didn't go to school to learn how to use this. 
Maybe some of you went to the Apple store. I won't hold that against you. But if you can use this, you can teach command. Bigger question is why command? Why now? Um, for those of you that haven't been a realtor for a while, maybe some of you who had might not even know this as to why, what the reason is, what the journey is. Why did Gary take us down this path? Why build command in-house? Hello. Hello. Morning wants to join us on our call. Um, so Gary, four or five years ago, and probably even longer before that, okay, but started us on this journey of command. And there's a very real reason as to why we don't have off-the-shelf technology. We have partners, but command's our platform. So we used to use a platform called eEdge, and inside of eEdge was a platform called Market Leader. They were our business partners, okay? Market Leader, five years ago now, maybe longer, was acquired by this company you might have heard of called Zillow. I don't know if anybody's heard of Zillow. They're just a small company that's out there, right? So Zillow bought Market Leader, okay? And it didn't really shake people too much as much as it should have, but that was kind of a big deal. And that platform where you started to kind of die on the vine a little bit. Then Zillow stripped it for parts and sold it off. Secondly, we had a partnership with a company called Dot Loop. I don't know if anybody's heard of Dot Loop, but it was our, our library, our e-signature platform that we had had for maybe three or four years. Zillow bought them too. Okay, so what that's telling us something is we're really under attack, right? Zillow's never going to be a brokerage. That was their party line. Lies, right? Then disruption in our industry, venture capital, all kinds of money coming in to take your commissions. And the big fight inside of what we do and our livelihoods really is about one thing. It's the dollars and the data. The dollars and the data, right? Who's got the data? You have the data. The question is, where is your data? Your data was in Market Leader. Your data was in Dot Loop. Your data was in other platforms that you may be personally paying for or utilizing outside of KW's ecosystem. KW is never going to tell you you have to do anything except to get paid. You got to do some things inside of our system. But we don't charge you to use the platform that we have. And the reason that KW is on the journey of having the platform that we have is to protect your assets. That's right. I said it. I said the A word, assets. Right? You can truncate that if you'd like to, but protect your assets because all those other companies want to buy your data and they want to put you out of business. That, that's the reality of it. Don't take my word for it. Look what's going on around you. Look at all the companies that are being acquired. Look at all the consolidation that's going on. Look at all the craziness that's happening inside of our injury outside of how quickly things are settling. Right? So command, a pretty daunting cast, task by a company that's always done things their own way, okay? So command was built for the agents by the agents because the agents provide a lot of feedback. Now it's been a bumpy ride, I'm not gonna lie, and the company doesn't lie. Things have not gone all the ways that we want them to go. However, they're doing it, they're doing it for you, and I ask you guys to understand why we're doing it and show some forgiveness and some restraint when it doesn't always do what we want it to do. Although I will tell you where it's at now from where it was four years ago is leaps and bounds. And for the majority of you, and I will say the better part of 90% of you, if not more, this will do everything you need it to do. You do not, go to, do not need to go pay for something else. Do not get sold things. Somebody told me one time, if you want to make money in real estate, build something that you can send or sell to a real estate agent because they like to give away their money. Facts. So that's command, that's the why, that's the, what I call understanding the journey or the big why of command. And I think you really do need to understand why we're on this path, not just that KW is providing a platform for you, but Gary himself has spent an incredible amount of money on this that he didn't need to spend. He could be on the beach in Florida Keys, drinking margaritas with Jimmy Buffett if you wanted to. He chose to protect you, he, he chose to fight for you. He chose to fight for your consumers. And I will dare say he cares and fights more than a lot of people do in their own business. A lot of people don't take what they do seriously. Gary does. So anyways, that's why we're doing what we're doing. So that's, that's my first speech from the pulpit, my first coming at you for you guys. And I want, I think it's important that you all understand why we're doing what we're doing. And then when you start to utilize it, you'll start to understand a little bit better.
All right. Any questions from, from that impassioned background? Like I said, I've come from it, but anybody got any questions for me before we start jumping into some things? Um, hi guys, um, I have a quick question. Not necessarily related to what you just said, but this is my first time in the meeting. I just enjoyed Kelly Williams three days ago. And well, I, I thank you. I just want to make sure that I put all the coaching that were available on my Google calendar. So, you know, I, I can catch up with as much as I, uh, I can, but I want to make sure that I use this in a productive way. So specifically, specifically for your coaching section, considering that I'm new and like this week, um, Coach Drew recommended me. I know that there's a lot of videos to watch, a lot of uh, material to check, but he said, focus on your database. Mm -hmm. So eventually you transfer everything to command. So do you have any special advice that I should, you know, keep on top of my mind? Like for now, how I can use your sessions the best to be the most productive? Um, I definitely want to make sure that, you know, I have decided to invest in this career. So not succeed is not an option. And I want to do the right things from the very right beginning. Uh, so how do you recommend that I can uh, take more advantage of this session particularly? Don't multitask while we're training. Let, okay. be, be an active listener. You're not going to pick mm -hmm. everything up. These classes are recorded and we're going to put everything on the YouTube channel and we'll walk through where you, what tools will be available to you to kind of self-advocate self -advocate for yourself. Okay. Right. Time block 10 to 11 every day. Be here early and plan to stay a couple minutes late for Q&A. Take what okay. we show you on every given day and take it back and start to play around with it in your business. Don't be scared of what's at your disposal. You can't break anything, right? Mm -hmm. Your market or tech trainers are here to support you. Your PC coaches are there to support you. Right. A lot of this is conversation driven systems business. Right. We'll talk about the red book in case you guys may have heard of this thing. The millionaire. Book. Yes, I needed to get mine. And this we'll talk about command. Command leverages what you learn about systems, models and tools in the red book. So don't get too lost in the technology. Think of it as nothing more than as leverage. Your first and foremost is lead generation, picking up the phone talking to people. And then when you meet those people, put them in the command. Command is not a silver bullet. It doesn't replace relationships. It makes those relationships and communication easier. So okay. each day we will take a small component and what we call applets, and we'll walk through things, you know, a deep dive one hour each day into each of those applets. And again, if you could take a couple of pieces from that, right? Then wash, rinse, repeat, come again. You know, there are people in this call that have been through my classes a multitude of times, right? Mm -hmm. And if I learn something new every time, don't feel the pressure that you have to learn it all today because you won't. Yeah. Be open-minded to receive the information and then apply those things. And the more you do in your business and the more successes you start to have, the more adaptation and starting to utilize the different things at your disposal. Your, your coach, whoever you talk to first, say focus on your database, which is tomorrow's class, is the most important thing we will talk about, the database. The Great. Database, the database, the database. And we'll take a deep dive in that tomorrow. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thanks for your question. Okay, so we're gonna, take it, we're gonna go ahead and jump in now. Here's one thing I will ask from you guys is that I will stop and pause and ask for questions every now and then. Ted is on the call, and I'm not sure if I have any other my uh, market center tech trainers on the call at this point. If you have questions, if you would throw them in the chat for us, okay, that helps me stay on task. Some of the questions will get addressed at some point. Some of the questions will make will be answered inside a chat. And sometimes I'll go open mic either during or at the end. And that just keeps you from going off track too much because we only have an hour. And now I only have 45 minutes. And I tend to go down rabbit holes easily. So this is to protect me as much as it is, is to protect you to learn what we're going to do today. So right, today we're going to jump into orientation for technology. Okay. And really what this is, is a, is a reaffirmation of some things. So, you know, all the things that you have in your disposal, it's not really a training class as much as this is a knowledge class. Now, when you join your market centers, they probably set some things up for you. They probably launch some things for you. You may have even had an orientation with your market center tech trader, ASC, MCA, TL, somebody in your market center already that's familiar like me. We're going to take a little bit of deeper dice. You can reaffirm that you have access to everything you need to have access to. And I'll highlight some tools that are available to you so you can self-train. Self-advocacy is incredibly important. 
expecting to learn everything in this one hour class is impossible. Being able to go back, know where to find information, rewatch videos or get informed on your timetable around your business, incredibly important to your business. And KW, from an education standpoint, in case you didn't realize it, we are just the top real estate company. We are one of the top training companies in all industries across the world, right? Because we have instructors, we have trainers, we have training, we have video, we have fact page. Any resource that you can imagine, we have for you to learn because everybody learns a little bit differently. So it all starts with that. All right, so now I'm going to jump into sharing my screen now. Let's see if I can make this work. Ooh. And pop up. So you guys should see my slides here in just a second. Come on. There we go. All right, everybody see a slide there on the screen? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. All right. The big journey. Well, we just talked about the journey and the big why. Okay. I am recording. So this will be posted on our YouTube channel, which I will share that link with you. In your market centers, you all have what's called a Mark Center Tech Trainer. So as I mentioned, I am the regional technology director, but I'm also the Mark Center tech trainer for Falls Church of KW United, right? Now, if you see on the screen, you're gonna see your market center number, okay? Falls Church is 949. Your number is associated with this and your market center tech trainer. So I don't know if you know who that is yet, but find your market center and write that down. That's your on the ground, your, on, your, your person, right? That's your person in the market center that will help you with any detailed questions or struggles that you might have inside a command. It may be me, it may be somebody else, but it's important that uh, you know who they are. Something that makes my, my life a little bit easier from a trainer is that one, your cameras are on, which some of you is, some of you are not. I appreciate if your cameras are on. I like looking at your eyes, okay? That's how I know that you're learning, okay? Two, when you click on your screen, you're gonna see three dots. If you click on the three dots, it says rename. Over the next two weeks, while we do these trainings from 10 to 11, if you could get in the habit of renaming yourself with your market center number, David Donaldson, 949, Jackie Jordan, 949, okay? That way I'll know who and where you are, and it guys to me some insight if I need to do a redirect or put you in the right person. So that would be helpful. We'll remind you of that every day. Thank you. All right, couple of things to note. I'm gonna give you some bookmarks, okay? Bookmarks are links that you're going to go to regularly. I'm going to put those on the screen for you. So I want to write them down, copy the screen, whatever that looks like for you. Email. We're going to dive into email here in a second. But your email through KW, David Donaldson at KW.com, just so you know, that's my email address, okay, is provided to you from KW, but it's also a Gmail platform. So when you access your KW email, you're just going to gmail.com and you're going to log in with your username and password through your email address, which we'll go over. KWConnect.com, okay, is essentially YouTube, but it's just for KW. A lot of recordings and sessions and live trainings, recorded trainings and documents and links and information, all housed in one location for you to gain access, okay? KWConnect.com. We have a regional YouTube channel, which I will share on the screen here in a minute. Actually, uh, Ted, if you would share the, uh, the Facebook page and the YouTube channel link inside of chat, Ted's going to put that... If you guys join the Facebook group, okay, for the technology, for the region, okay, you'll see live updates every day. We put things out there that are available for you. Two, if you subscribe to our regional YouTube channel, when I post these recordings or any others, you'll get an email notification that we've released something new that you could take time to watch. So Ted's going to put those in chat for you. Another really big, important link for you guys. Agent.kw.com. If you don't write anything else today, I want you to write this down. Agent.kw.com. This essentially is Google for all things KW. Okay. So when you go to agent.kw.com, okay, you log in. It's going to ask, you know, anytime you log into a KW platform, it's going to ask you for your user ID and password. And I'll show you where those are at here in a second if you don't know. But the same user and ID and password gets you into everything except for your email, okay? You can search for any topic inside of answers.kw.com. And it's going to give you videos, training, fact pages, support documentations, and we're constantly updating it every time we do a new release, launch, or edit, or something that's technology related. So make sure you have that. Okay, 
self-advocacy. You have to be a self-learner or it's going to be a slow roll for you. Okay. We'll train you every day. You've got a lot of you have PC coaches in your market center. There's coaching abound, but you can very easily be busy being busy, but you got to know where to go and when to go and how to get it on yourself. You got to fight for yourself. Okay. While you are all licensed realtors, you are all individual owners of your company. Congratulations for taking that step. I don't, a lot of people are looking at it that way. You're a realtor. You are an individual business owner. That's something to be excited about. Right? But it's not a passive job. You've got to be proactive in what you do, right? So knowing how to self-advocate and when and where is important. So I talked about answers.kw.com. If you ever have trouble with an issue, I want you to get in the habit to support a ticket. But the first time you need to support a ticket or anytime you need to feel like you need to support a ticket, I want you to contact your Mark Center tech trainer. They're going to help you. They're going to help you identify one of three things. Is the issue you're having actually something that's broken? Therefore, you need to report it to KW. Okay, there's a process for that. They will walk you through that. Okay. Second, is the issue you're having a training issue? Do you not know how to do what you're actually looking to do? Right? You may think it's broken, but you might just be doing something wrong in order or process, right? So they're going to help clarify that for you. Third, are you looking for command to do something that it just doesn't do yet? So we call that a feature request. And here's what I can tell you. 90% of all tickets live or emailed in are the latter two, a training request or a feature request. 10% are actually something that's wrong with the system. So if I tell you to, or encourage you to talk to your Mark Center tech trainer first, they can give you clarity around what's going on. Yes, it's a known issue. No, it's not a known issue. Here's how you do that. Here's how you send in a request, right? They'll have the answer for a lot of those things. If it's actually down, I communicate with them and let them know if there's a mass outage or broken. Sometimes they are case by case and individualized. That may be an experience you have. Something might be unique to you. If it is, we'll get it taken care of. I assure you, we will follow up they will report it to support for you, with you, so you stay informed. And if deemed necessary enough, they will escalate it to me. I'll look at it, and then I can escalate it further. But it kind of has to take its process and down those avenues. Don't ever make the assumption, I'll go back to that AWS again, that, well, they must know about it. Always support the ticket. Even if you think it's a major, everybody must know about a thing because you'll be put in a queue and you'll be notified when things are improved or changed or fixed. Always support that ticket. That's important. Uh, we're going to talk about where to get help inside of command. I'll show you that. I talked about kwconnect.com. Some of you have been set up in your systems. You actually all have access to this website now. Uh, Scott Lurie Marketing. So Scott is another training vehicle that did a lot of the one-off settings for you guys because all of our market centers have a relationship with them. And when you log in to scottlorymarketing.com, the password is simply your market center number, right? He's got a lot of training videos, just like we have a dual connect and they're, they're, they will help you migrate contacts. They'll help you do a lot of things. So if you, you know, your market center tech trainer is there for you. Our, our YouTube channel is there for you. Our tech page is there for you. But Scott Leroy's company is there for you too that you all have access to, okay? Uh, Ted put the YouTube channel, Facebook group inside of checks or inside of chat. So you guys all have access to that covered support. All right, we're now gonna go into my screen and we're gonna talk about mykw.kw.com, okay? So this is actually the old platform. You guys seeing the screen okay? mykw.kw.com is our old eEdge platform that we're migrating away from for all things command related, okay? But there's still some things that take place on the back end. Okay, that you will need to make sure are all configured. So today's class, we'll cover some configuration things and I want you to see where they are. Now remember, I have a lot to cover. This is recorded, so don't be overwhelmed. Okay, you can always come back to this. So from this page, mykw.kw.com, you will log in with your KW user ID and password. Now, if you're brand new, that was emailed to you from KW. Okay, if you've been here a while, then you know this is your login. Once you've joined us and you're new and you may want to reset that password from that long string of characters to something you may want to remember, if you hover over the word technology, okay, there's a change password button, okay? I am logged in. 
then you can hover over technology, you can change your password. Now above that, you've got your KW email. Remember your KW email, and as we talk each day, you're gonna find out there's actually a couple of emails that are, are functioning in the back end for you, but your everyday email is a KW email, okay? If you don't know what that is yet, or if you haven't created one, you can do that here under KW email. You can either sign up if you need a new one, okay? Or you can manage your email. Remember, I said this is a Gmail platform, okay? I already have one, so it's David Donaldson at KW.com. I highly recommend that you create one that's your name, first and last name. It's just easier that way, right? Don't get too cutesy with it. Stick to who you are. You're David Donaldson. And what's important, and I want you to take note of this, and I don't want you to take this personally. Who uses a Gmail email every day? Your number real number one realtor at gmail.com, right? That's hokey and amateurish. I'm sorry. The free mail, okay, the Gmail, the hot wire, the Yahoo's, the live wire. God forbid some of you are still using AOL out there like Ted does, right? <laughs> I want you to take notice. I referenced you earlier of being business owners, okay? Use the professional looking email address, right? Your number one realtor, David at gmail.com is not that, okay? Use the at kw.com email. It lets them know you're a realtor. It lets them know you're the company, you're with KW. And believe it or not, you know, that subdomain at kw.com, they can go search for properties and actually find you. Okay. Gmail just, it just doesn't look good. I know it's hard from a transitional standpoint for a lot of people, your market center tech trainers can help you forward that. Cause that's probably in circulation for a lot of you. We can forward that to your kw.com email address. I beg of you to stop using your free mail. Simon's looking at me and laughing. He's like, all right. Secondly, you, when you build your business, you may have a custom domain name, which I'm going to encourage you to have. That might be daviddonaldson.com or right? tedtownsley.com or the donaldsonrealtygroup.com, whatever that looks like for you. When you do that step in your business, okay, you can actually have your own email address through there. And we're not going to take too much of a dive into that today, but I want you to understand there are three levels of email. There's the free mail, which is bad. We just covered that. It's bad. Okay. There's the KW email, which you all should be using at a minimum. And then there's your professional business email address because you build a team or an entity, right? And maybe it's like mine is David at revolutionary.net. That's my business entity for real estate. And by I say professional businesses, it means I can't just use that because I have to legally be licensed to do business as that business entity. So there's a process to that. Talk to your brokers about that. You can't just start adding yourself, advertising yourself as a team. I can't wake up tomorrow and decide that I want to be the Donaldson Home Group, right? I have to file that. I have to put that on my papers. It has to go to Richmond. It has to be approved by my market center and it has to be added to my license. You cannot just start advertising yourself as a team. And I make that point very clearly because people will go and do it anyways. And this is recorded. And you can never say that David told me to do that because David told you to follow the steps and talk to your broker. All right. So now that we've kind of covered that. So your email, and you would literally would take your email once it's created. I would go to gmail.com and log in with my email and password. The bottom of this, there is a recovery email address. Now, this is the only time I will tell you that it's okay to put your free mail in something else. Your recovery email should be a third-party email in case you ever need to reset your login and password and you're locked out of your email account. So have that other email, that Gmail is your reset email. All right without going down too much of a rabbit hole, any questions around free mail, KW email, and a professional business email? No? Okay, moving on. Also on mykw.kw.com is a profile. This profile is a lot of things, but most importantly, it's a connection email inside of our white pages so other agents can find you. So if you actually click on this profile button, you're going to see a series of boxes. All right, refresh that. There you go. Where at the upper left, you'll be able to load your photo. Please put your photo there so people know who you are. You'll see your market center, 
Your market center is going to have to put your MLS ID number in there. So make sure that your MCTT or MCA has your local number and that's posted there, right? And then you just fill in the rest of these blanks. Communication, how do people reach out to you? One of the important things that you'll see in here is your bio. I'm going to talk a lot about bios over the next couple of days inside the different applets that we have, but I want you to start thinking about it now. There are two different bios you need in your world, okay? One is your marketing bio. That's you telling your story to the everyday consumer. And here's the great thing. Every single realtor that's been in business that you may look to up to that's been, that is successful, okay? I don't want you to be afraid that because you haven't done any transactions or you've done a monicum of transactions that you can't compete for business because that's just not true, okay? Every realtor started at the same exact spot for the number of transactions. You guys know what that is? That's right, zero. Everybody has sold zero at some point in their lives. So when you're writing your bio, don't be paralyzed by fear that you can't talk about your successes in history if you don't have one yet. You will, okay? Your bio is a connection. You're trying to establish an emotional response or a connection with somebody. Where did I grow up? Where did I go to college, right? What are my hobbies? What do my kids do, right? Am I a hockey dad? Am I baseball? Do I live in Arizona? Do I go to Jenkintown High School? Is my hometown featured on a television show, right? It is, by the way, in case you guys ever watched the Goldbergs, all right? So what can people connect with and like about you? Were you a professor? Did you teach? Do you have a PhD? Do you have an MBA? What are you trying to connect with somebody? That's what should be spelled out in your consumer facing bio. And then you'll be able to add to it when you have successes in business. Does that make sense to everybody? Cool. The second bio you're gonna to wanna to have is your agent to agent facing bio because there's a place for that, okay? Inside of our system. In case you don't realize it and we'll cover it on the very last day, okay? We are the largest referral company in the world. We're number one in agents, okay? We're number one in volume, we're number one in units, and we are number one in referrals. So you just don't think about it as that way, but you can pass referrals anywhere you need to go. My last three commission checks have all come from referrals. Naples, Florida, Huntsville, Alabama, and Gainesville, because I don't, that's too far for me to drive, okay? So those are my last three transactions. You have the ability to pass referrals throughout the company. So your agent to agent bio is a little bit different than your consumer facing bio, okay? And it's important to have a complete online profile for the consumers and agents. You'll see where those are, right? Because agents are gonna look for things that are different. Did you attend Bowl? Have you been to Ignite? Have you learned all about there is to command? Are you on the ALC? Are you culture, right? Do you know what the, are, do, have you been to Red Day? Like, are you participating? Have you been to family reunion? Have you been to mega camp? And if you're new, the answer is no on a lot of those things, and that's okay, right? But a complete profile says a lot too. The general population doesn't understand what bold is or ALC, right? So they don't, that's not a connection for them if you mention those things in your general bio. So agent to agent bio and consumer facing bio, two different stories about you to two different audiences. So give some thought to that. I don't expect you to write it all tonight, but I do want you to think about that because there's a place for all that in our business, okay? So you're gonna fill all this in. Uh, you'll see this display URL. Uh, that should just be your name. Don't ever think that. And then save all this. Now, also on mykw.com, our market centers do a lot of training. We do regional training, but they do a lot of training on the ground in your market center. And they have a calendar for their training. And some market centers use this and some do not, but I got to show it to everybody, okay? So at the bottom, there's a quick link. You'll see my intranet. So your market centers, if they do trainings, which I know they do, but they may not post them here, and I hope they do, you have a training calendar, okay? This training calendar is everything that's going on inside your market center. Team rallies, scheduled trainings, boot camps, right, Ignite, you know, how to hold an open house, whatever the series of classes may be, they're all right there for you, okay? You see your little picture up here on the right, if you've loaded that, there's the ability to take that calendar as I click on this to the bottom here and I click edit preferences. At the very bottom, there's a calendar sync. So you can actually sync that office calendar with your Android or Apple platform or Gmail 
right? So the office calendar can sync to your daily devices. So you know what's going on at any particular day. It's important to follow along so you know what training classes you're going to. Training classes. I'm going to encourage you, and we'll talk about this throughout the, throughout the trainings, to time block for yourself. It's very easy when you're new or desperate for business to let the consumer drive your world. And I'm never going to tell you to not go on an appointment. I'm never going to tell you to not schedule an appointment. But I'm going to tell you it's okay to say, I can't meet at that time. And that's a hard thing for somebody to do that's brand new and desperate. If you have a training planned, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., every Monday through Thursday for the next two weeks is with me, right? Think about the importance of, do I need to go on that appointment at that time or do I need to be in David's class? That's your decision, okay? But what happens if you miss a scheduled training? What happens, will your consumer get upset? I don't know, but it's okay to control your calendar. So what I encourage everybody is look at what trainings are coming up over any particular week and put it on your calendar if it's of interest to you. Now, if something comes up, find out how you can rewatch it and go back or when it's offered again. That might happen, okay? But be loyal to your calendar and be very sensitive that if it is important enough for you to schedule it, how important is it for something to trump it and replace it? So be careful. All right, calendar syncage. I'm gonna come back out to my KW's homepage. Those are really the big things on mykw.kw.com as we slowly migrate away from that in its entirety. Uh, the one thing I will show you is white pages. There's a couple of places, but white pages is where you actually would look, look up other agents. There's a referral platform that's just easier, but you can also go to white pages and search up somebody by their name. The entire Rolodex of everybody in KW is in here. And if you could search them by name or you could search them by market center number. So if I actually wanted to look up Pam Moyers, right? And I knew her market center, I could type that in or, or I could just search by her last name. And then when I click search, I'll see her contact information and her smiling face because I knew she was there because she's been through my classes before and she always does what Dave says. Don't you, Pam? So go in here, make sure you verify your information, but just know that you can look up other agents in here as well, okay? All right. So that is mykw.kw.com. So that's everything we just kind of covered on right here. Now, the next page that I want to jump into for you is kwconnect.com. We talked earlier that KW Connect, okay, is essentially the YouTube channel, without calling it YouTube, for all of KW. So kwconnect.com, okay. Now, on the right-hand side, you have a profile page. So you should, first thing you should do, you're gonna to have to do profiles a couple of times. I apologize for that. They don't all sync together yet. So this profile is an agent to agent facing profile. So this is that bio that takes place where you're telling your story to other KW agents, okay? So underneath there, you've got my profile and it'll have a picture and a banner, which you can upload your own banner. Uh, transaction history, sold, how long you've been with KW, and you can turn those things on or off, you know, with KW, areas your service. So editing that information is important. Now, this KW profile on KW Connect will push to command, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but that's that, that referral platform that kind of takes place in two places. So remember, my KW is talking to the consumer, profile and this profile inside of KW Connect is going to be talking to other KW agents. All right. Now let me come back to the Connect homepage. I'm gonna, there's a lot in here. Okay, but I'm gonna highlight the things that I think are important to you as you're starting to ramp up your business from a training element. Okay. So you're going to see training. This Connect Daily Live or Connect Live. I call it my training command daily live, but these are Connect Live. These are put on by KW. Other trainers like myself will train at different times of the day. And I've been on these classes and they're really cool. They're usually smaller, more driven to one small topic. And they're anywhere between 15 minutes and a half an hour. If you look in your calendar, I typically recommend like Saturday, Sunday, or even end of business Friday and see what's happening the next current week that KWRI is providing. You might want to time block something that's of interest to you. Like today, they're talking about keeping motivated with buyers. 
uh, how to host seminars that lock in listings. These are all other trainers and top producing agents sharing information with you. One thing to notice is that these times are in central, okay? So we're one hour ahead on the East Coast. So don't get tripped up and time blocked the wrong time, all right? You can always look out a week in advance to see what's going on for that current week. Remember, this is KWRI. This is not the regional stuff. So my trainings that I'm doing right now, you won't see on here. Now, if there was an event that you wanted to attend that KWI put on, they're pretty good about recording everything and sharing it later. So you've got live on demand over here on the left. So if you miss an event that you wanted to attend, you can go in there and usually within 48 to 72 hours, they'll post a recorded session that you may have missed. Okay, so this is KW Connect Live and it's a, it's a great platform. Next to that are resources. So there's a welcome new associates Okay, which I encourage you guys all to check out. And it'll talk about and give you links of where you should go and where you get information. A lot of that I'll cover for you, but again, a great central location for you to check out. Getting started, boost production, stay informed, the next steps. Everything, there's a lot of hyperlinks in there that will drive you to different trainings inside of KW's ecosystem. Again, a lot of things I will highlight over the next eight days, but it's good to know that this is there for you too, because. I'm not perfect and I occasionally will miss something. So I like pointing that out for everybody. Technology, there's a command your business, okay? And I love this. So my trainings are typically one hour. These are smaller bite-sized pre-recorded sessions that you'll see for the agent and team. You might be on a team. So there's some subtle differences between teams. So that's why those are different, okay? But these take those trainings that I do and they're smaller on demand, usually less than 10 minute trip are about very specific topics, right? So you might need to know how you want to connect to your store. You might want to know how to build your database. You might want to know how to add a contact. We'll cover a lot of that, but not at the minute level that they'll do in these smaller 10 minutes. So knowing that you can come in here to command your business, just another great place where you're at the end of your day or you're starting off your day learning about something that you didn't know previously. Okay, we'll cover referrals at a later time. And growth. So those, those are the big things that I think you need to know from jump and get used to it. Now you can, I would never tell you not to go in and look at different things, but you can get lost. There's so much information in here that you can get lost uh, very, very easily and spend a lot of time in there. Uh, so be conscious of your time and don't be busy being busy, right? Be very specific and time block the amount of time that you have each day to build your business or watch videos or trainings, okay? So that is KW Connect. Any questions on, the, on those two platforms that I covered so far of how to access them and what's there and what pieces you need to complete? All right, doing good. Now we're talking about command, okay? So command, your login for command is agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com. That will get you into your command console, which is where we are here. And when you log in, you're going to land on what's called the home display dashboard. And we're going to walk through this here. On the upper right-hand side, and the first thing that I'm going to want you to do, and we will talk about this every day, is your profile. So inside of command, there are those two profiles that we touched. Okay, there's the agent to agent and agent to consumer. So in the upper right hand side, you're gonna see your name with a drop down. First thing you're gonna see is profile. Okay, that first profile that you see is that agent to agent profile. This is not your consumer driven marketing profile. This is the one that pulls from KW Connect and you can edit it here by editing profile, just like you can edit it inside of Connect and it goes back and forth. So whichever platform works best. But just know that this first profile button is not the consumer facing profile, okay? The consumer facing profile is under settings, okay? Under settings on the left-hand side, okay? You're going to see connect settings and underneath connect settings is your marketing profile. This is what's going to feed to emails, website, mobile app, smart plans, drip campaigns, right? Those signatures that are going out for you to your database with your information. 
So go to this marketing profile here and give it all the information that you can. Headshots, logos, company details, your professional bio, right? Contact information, market center information, market center logos, okay? If you don't know where to go to your market center logos, talk to your market center tech trainer. They will get you those. Okay, they'll show you how to access your team leader, ASC. Most market centers have a custom logo for their market center, okay? Compliance, here's your compliance. Everybody's the same. Each office is independently owned and operated is what this should say here. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just like on your business cards, your flyers, all your disclosures are the same, right? We are one organization, KW, but all of our offices, although they may be clustered together by some ownership groups, are independent franchised, okay? You can ignore the legal footer. There's nothing to put there. Your social media links, right? You will need in your business, if you don't have one already, okay? A Facebook business page. Incredibly important for things that we're gonna cover. You're going to need one. If you don't have one, talk to your market center tech trainer. They can help you configure and set one up, okay? Instagram, you see that I don't have it here yet. I don't do a lot of Instagram, but I should. And so should you. And they're owned by Facebook, but they work a little differently. Okay. You may have some training classes in your market center and, you know, we should probably, I'll probably will do something at the regional level to talk a little bit more about that and bring in people that have had successes around that, but you should have an Instagram page. Uh, you may or may not have a YouTube channel. I, I encourage you to have one because maybe you're talking market stats or local information and then you, a LinkedIn page. Now remember all these platforms do something different. The Facebook business page is not the same as a LinkedIn profile, right? Instagram is different than Twitter. You know, somebody broke this down to me one time and it's always stuck with me. Twitter, the way things happen on Twitter is kind of like being at a, um, at a happy hour, right? People are bouncing around the room, buzzing, hearing different kinds of information. Did you say real estate? Oh, let me jump over here and go talk to this person, right? They're very small, quick, one hitter information. That's Twitter, right? Facebook is like that backyard barbecue. Right, you've got friends, you've got family, there's some inappropriate things going on. People might be drinking too much, they might be sharing photos of you that you're not proud of, right? You get tagged in things, Uncle Larry tells stories. All those things take place on Facebook, right? So understanding your audience is incredibly important. You also have a business page on there that allows to do some advertising and post later on in some of our additional classes that we get into. So having a professional business page professional uh, rightfully branded and marketed to you is important your personal page won't be there but there's a place for your personal page in your business too and then linkedin linkedin is the boardroom right so shirt and tie the way that you talk mind your grammar your p's and q's it's a little bit different of an audience okay but there is an audience so knowing the platforms and knowing what you dispose i'm not telling you to be on all of them facebook if i had to say you have to be on one you really, really want to be on Facebook. That's just my, my personal opinion. Uh, analytics and tracking is on the back end. I make this very simple for you. If you know what this is, then you're going to fill in these blanks. It'll be easy for you. If you don't know what this is, then I don't want you to worry about it right now. It's for tracking for websites and pixels and analytics on the back end. Our platform is not so robust that this is a huge urgent thing right now. But if you know what these are, then you have these things and I don't really have to explain it. So that's kind of my quick workaround for you. And save any changes on this page. So completing your marketing profile and then turn on this toggle. We're gonna to refer back to this a couple of times through training, but you, after you fill this all out, complete it all out, and it may be over a couple of days, that's okay. But you have to do it all at once. Uh, update that information, but turn on this toggle because this will feed to other features and make your life a little bit easier. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to the home page. On the left here, this red KW pushes out, which is great because it shows you all the applets, right? We talked about this kind of working like your cell phone. And you've got these things called apps on your phone. You guys may have heard of those, right? So our applets inside of command are like a series of apps on your phone. So command is the phone and these other programs inside of command are your apps, okay? You've got your homepage, which we'll talk about here. We've got contacts, which is your database. Some people will say, hey, what's your CRM tool? Command is a platform, okay? It's not a CRM. It's a platform that has a CRM. Contacts is that CRM. That's your data bank. 
it's your business, it's your contact information. It's the most valuable thing in your world and inside of command. So like I said, we'll drive, dive deep in that tomorrow. Then you have tasks, the things that you need to do on any particular day to move a transaction ahead or people you need to call, email or text. Tasks, smart plans. Those are our set it and forget it to a degree, emails, automated systems that take place in the background. Am I sending out updates to my past clients about the activity that's going on in a particular neighborhood? Cause a, a neighborhood nurture, right? Do I need to call people once a quarter? The system will prompt me who to call, okay? Is there a specific way that I follow up with people from an open house? Is that our combination of phone calls, text messages, emails, or activities? That's a smart plan. It's a series of events that take place that are automated so you don't have to think it through a time once it's set up. There's a smart plan. Referrals. We talked about that. KW, the largest referral company in the world. How do I find a referral in Carlsbad, California? I'll show you how to do that. Opportunities. I was making fun with Jackie earlier who bailed out about her whiteboards behind her. Opportunities is tracking your business. Okay. It's a digital whiteboard. It's a click of a mouse view into what's going on in your world from contract to close or from met, not met to activities to generate business. How are you tracking everything that's going on in your world? Opportunities. Okay. Campaigns, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, email campaigns, generating leads online, pay-per-click. Those are campaigns. And we'll take a dive into that next week. Reports. What's your production look like? Did you set your goals for this year? How are you performing against your goals? Right? You guys familiar, or some of you may know it, in the Red Book, we have this thing, right, called, lead, there are lots of different models in there, right? Lead gen, financial, economic. There's all goal, driven around goal setting. And they back down the common denominator. If I know that I want to make $100,000 this year, you know, I break down to the, to the minute level of how many appointments do I have to have to hit that goal because I know what my conversion rates are, right? That's reported. So that takes place in here as well. Designs. Anybody heard of a system called Canva? So essentially, this is our Canva, and it's actually better. I love Canva. And, but the great thing is I no longer have to pay for Canva Pro. This designs element, close to 2,000 different templated formats for print, email, marketing, social, right? Flyers, postcards, hangers, business cards, magazines, listing buyer presentations with all my listing information associated with it. Incredible, powerful tool. We'll touch on that too. All the listings are here, all of them. Not just yours, not just your market centers, not just KWs all of them nationally. It's a national MLS. So all the MLS information is in what we call KWLS. We pull that information automatically for you, right? So you can find every single listing, whether it's yours or not, is in this system. And then consumer. Consumer is where we house our website. You each have one. And your mobile app. You each have one. And we'll take a deeper dive into those things when we talk on consumer next week. All right, coming up on time, we're doing good. So under home, I want to show you a couple of things. So homework today, right? Go in and look at the things that we showed you. Make sure your email and your profile is all set up on mykw.com. Come in here and fill out your marketing profile. Get your headshot. Get your marketing logo for your market center, right? Make sure your contact information. If you're missing anything, contact your market center tech trainer, your local leadership. Say, hey, Dave said I got to have these things. Where can I find it? They'll point you in the right direction, I promise you, okay? Now, on this homepage, I've got this customized. One of the great things about command is its customization. So every agent associate's experience could be different based off the information that they're looking for or how they like to see things. And it starts here on your homepage. So I hit this customize button on the homepage. I can change my display. So you'll see on mine, I've got these boxes on the left, which are all what we call widgets. And these are all the different widgets that I have available to me to showcase on my own page. I could check them all. Boop, boop, boop. And when I check those boxes, you'll see they show up on the right-hand side. Then I can change the order that they're on display on my own page. I can drag this to the top. I can move this to the top. And then once I hit apply, it changes my layout. Look at that. 
So you may want to see things a certain way on your homepage. And I can't tell you the best way. I'll tell you what I like. Okay. I like to have my, no, this is, this is me. I like to have my product updates at the top. If I'm in lead generation, I want to have my leads at the top. Okay. I like to look at my goals versus actual, or maybe I want to see my tasks. I like to have tasks. You know, what, what do I need to do today? Right. Then my database health score, then my goals versus actual. There's no right or wrong here. Let me just tell you what they all are. So tasks are that. What do I need to do today? Who do I need to talk to? Text, email, phone numbers. Okay. Leads. Who's new in my database? Where did they come from? Was it a Facebook lead? Did they register on my website? Leads. Database health comparison. We'll talk in more detail tomorrow about our health score. Okay. But how healthy is my database? Basically, I mean, how much information do I have for all my contacts? And then goals. If I set goals for myself under reports, how am I based on a month to month, year to year basis against the goals that I set for myself? If you haven't done this yet, I'm going to encourage you to talk to your market center's productivity coach or director of productivity or your team leader to set your goals because everybody should set their own goals and they're unique to you. Okay. Design updates. I talked about Canva and design. So this is just kind of showcasing, hey, here are the new designs that we rolled out this month. There are designs for every single holiday, every type of event. We've got stuff in there for Red Day. We've got stuff in there for Tax Day. Every holiday is going to have some sort of special design element. And when there's a rolled out, that's what the design features are. Product updates, which I think is incredibly important, and I love it. Okay, What changes have taken place in command this week? So you'll see it right here in the right. Now, in my job, that's important for me to know. Now, I'm, I'm in the know. But I like this display for the agents too. Product updates. And you see it's by week. What changes, updates, fixes, improvements, enhancements have KW rolled out into the platform? And if there's more detailed information you need to know, and there isn't any this week, you can actually, there'll be hyperlinks buried in there where you can click on the hyperlinks. There's also a, dry, a drop down on the right. What's next? So what's new is what's going on recently. What's next is a bigger level quarter by quarter, what big things can we expect out of command in the future? Okay, so this is telling what might come in quarter two, what might come in quarter three. So it's good to stay informed and check this out. Now, as we roll out new improvements and changes, your market center tech trainer will put things out to you in your market center. I will put things out to you through our regional technology page and KWI will put things out to you through this channel. So you're always gonna have the ability to be informed if you're paying attention. Some people want to know this stuff. Some people don't. That's okay. There's no wrong there. All right. Also at the top, we just had a KW app update. If you have your app, there's a new update associated with that. So that's live. We will get into the app under the consumer page. But as we wrap up today's class, I am going to encourage you this. There are actually three apps, sorry, two apps and a shortcut that I'm going to encourage you to download on your phone. Okay, this is part, another part of your homework for today. One, there's an app called Kelly, K-E-L-L-E, -E, Kelly. She is, for all intents and purposes, a temporary okay, uh, interaction between command, this desktop version, okay, and your phone. Now, she doesn't do as much as she used to, and we're actually in the process of putting her out to pasture sunset okay but what it does now that reason why i tell you to download it is for those of you and there's a couple of you that are as old as i am on this call they may remember the small thing called a pager you know the cool kids walked around with it in high school right i didn't have one i wasn't cool enough but the pagers we get a little beep with a phone number and say hey you need to call this person call them right now right so think of kelly as your pager kelly will say hey somebody's reaching out to you somebody's texting you somebody's trying to get a hold of you you have a new lead it, it'll buzz and notify you on your phone. And you also, you can't follow up through Kelly. It doesn't work real well, okay? There's a video at the top of the Facebook page that I did that shows you how to create a shortcut for a desktop version of command on your phone. Please watch it. Please incorporate that. Because if you have a Kelly notification, and again, this is a workaround. It's not a perfect situation. We're going to have command mobile here sometime this year, which will be great. I'm testing it. I love it, okay? But this workaround that's, on the Facebook page right now. Uh, Ted, are you still on the call? 
he disappeared on me. There's a link on the Facebook page, and you'll see I'm, it in the. I'm here, David. Would you share the link for the video that I did off of April 12th on the Facebook page of how to build your own command shortcut? Thank you. Ted's going to put the link in chat for you guys. But basically what that video does, it walks you through how to set up and create a pseudo app. Just basically adding something to your home screen, depending if you're at Apple or Droid, it kind of touches on that, which is a great workaround. I get a Kelly notification. I need to reach out to somebody. I can go to my phone and open up my command desktop from there and call them and, or get their contact information, which is all in command. That's just a workaround. The third thing that I want you to do is download your consumer app, okay? Just go to your web, um, your store, whether it's Google or Apple, and download what's called the KW Mobile Realty app. Okay, you all have one. Now, when you download that app, Logging into that is not using your KW user ID and password because it's a consumer app. It doesn't know that Simon is Simon Lee from KW. It just knows that Simon is a consumer looking to use this KW provided real estate app. So Simon, what I recommend and for all of you is that you create an account, a dummy account, okay? I have mine under my son's name. So I create an account with a bogus email, which will sync to commands, which is a great way for you to experience what that looks like and going in and playing around with the mobile app and see how it works for search so that you can start sharing it with the consumers. We're gonna take a deep dive into that next Monday, but I want you to download it today and start playing around with it. All right, so homework for today as we wrap up and I'm two minutes long, marketing profile information, start working on your bios, get your logos and uh, market center information loaded in your marketing profile, download the apps that we just talked about, play around, log in in your home screen, set some of those purviews, okay? And then come back every day for the next two weeks at 10 o'clock and learn about the next applet in your world. Any questions based on all the information I gave you guys today? Go ahead and go open mic with it. Yeah, I, I got a question, David. Go ahead. How do you access this uh, agent.kw.com? Is that you have type in the uh, in your URLs and yeah, agent.kw.com. You just type that in. That will open okay. it. Your uh, I got you. There's no no other quick quick no, you know, no. shortcut. Uh, you should bookmark that on your desktop or on your phone, right? If you watch the video, you see that uh, how to do it on your phone. But yeah, oh, okay. log into agent.kw.com and it'll ask you for your user ID and password, which is your KW specific. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Any other questions from today, guys and girls? For Mary, you were reaching in like you were going to go off mic, like you wanted to say something. No? Okay. Kelsey, you get everything you came to learn today? I love your smile. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. So tomorrow, 10 o'clock, we will jump into contacts. All right. So things to do to start thinking ahead for those classes. I gave you homework for today. So think about your database. If you have one, where is it? If you don't, where are those contacts at? Because you're going to start pulling those things in. I'm going to show you how to do that tomorrow. Everybody have a great day, and I will talk to you all then.